Hey guys, we Sparecat here. I'm just doing another video. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. We Sparecat here. I'm just doing another little video about my snakes or not sn my snakes, but snake facts and stuff. Cuz I want to do this on the ball python. Yes, I have my little book and stuff with a bunch of different snakes. I don't know if you can read that, like it has Burmese python, ball python, all that stuff. Anyways, the ball python is actually called the royal python because, uh, what's her, Cleopatra, when she was queen or whatever, she, the, they say that she had one, she'd always wear it around her neck, and so they called it the royal python, and the reason why it's called the ball python is because they always curl up in a ball, and you can actually roll around like a ball and stuff, and from what I've heard and seen that the males get up to two to three and a half feet, maybe four feet. The females get from three feet to five or six feet. And they're actually from Africa. Um, for like the babies and mid-sized, you can get use a 10 to 20 gallon tank. I'd prefer 20 gallon and then from for an adult you need a 40 to 50 gallon tank. I prefer 50. <laughs> bigger, bigger is the better. Um, you feed them mice, and um, dust the mice with um, calcium powder, which helps with calcium D stuff. Um, they are constrictors, which everyone should knows. Which, well, everyone should know what it means. It means that they'll wrap around your hand and just go like this until you're dead. Which you don't actually do that to your hand, but to their animals that they're feeding on. And time out really quick. Remember my last video I said just listen? That's basically what I'm saying now. Just listen. You don't have to. Sorry, I something on my face. Just listen. You don't have to watch my video skips. I know that. Anyways, um, they are very nice and they d don't bite unless they think your food. Like your thumb, they might think it's a mouse. Or something that is quickly bite at and then go away or something. Um, you can use tubs, like those really big tubs. I don't have one with me right now. But um, do not use pine or cedar bedding because it is toxic for ball pythons and actually it is toxic for all snakes and reptiles. Um, what you want to use is aspen or newspaper. You lay out a bunch of newspaper. Um, you guys should know what newspaper is. Um, you need two hides for in the cage. One on the cold side and one on the hot side. So the hot side needs to be about 90 degrees. Let's say about that. Cold side needs to be about 70 or 80 degrees in between there. When it's not, the snake is not shedding, you need 50% humidity, and when it is shedding, you need 70%. And, guys, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bearcat out.